Hello everybody, it's SOD Medhaven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a replay. Now, this is basically learn your tank, you know. You, you play a category of tanks, light, medium, heavy, or even SPG. Tank destroyers, just learn your class, you know. Every single category has got something different that they're good at. Heavies, there are three types of heavies. You have medium grade heavies, lightweight heavies, and then you have super heavy. The 60 TP right here in front of us is considered a super heavy. Along with that, an extremely hard hitter with a 152 millimeter gun. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into this replay. Melanovka. Now, one of the biggest advantages to the 60 TP has got to be at 70 millimeters of armor on the gun. What that allows you to do is, is block shots specifically just with your gun. So, following the barrel, putting the gun down in front of the path of where someone is trying to fire, and you can block a shell at the 8 degrees of gun depression that the 60 TP gets. Taking a look at the board here, they got a couple more 10s than us. And, well, same amount of 8s, but still, more 10s. So, rather than going hill, knowing that that's going to be an all-out gunfight, I considered going left. Plus, the 60 TP in a massive gunfight, you're, you're better off trying to find a more closed-off area. And knowing that most of our tier 10s are probably going to be going right, the artillery won't pay too much attention to us whenever we go left. So, that's where we want to go. 17.09 reload. Man, that, that's a killer. But hey, you know what? Whenever you're slapping people for over 850 with your gun, oh, man. It, it's a good day. 750 alpha on the 60 TP, 950 on the high explosives. Now, I'm looking at the map and I'm wondering why I'm the only one going left. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm just sitting there giggling a little bit. Help. <laughs> Help me, please. Because, <laughs> you know, it's only going to take a couple of them to rush in. But I'll take a look behind me here in a second. I see I got a Ferdinand coming up. So the Ferdy, he's going to be my best friend for this little uh, brawl that's going to be going on. And knowing that I'm one of the only tier 10 heavies heading left, I decide to start off with premium rounds. Right away, seeing a stone cold tier 8, you know, you don't want to pop out to take a shot because you don't know what else is out there. I'm not running binoculars or coated optics, so my spot range is, it's not as good as it could be. My base view range is only 390, so I'm probably barely reaching about 300, now probably about 440 to 435. But they can definitely spot me before I spot them. Right Just holding shots. No, I don't want to try and hit space armor. Shot a little bit too late there. Just hit the tracks. And there's problem number one. Andre the Giant. Now, I'm thinking about wanting to pull out. But if the Stone Cold's running the double barrel, that's 600 hit points I don't want to lose. And bouncing off the motherland because of the spaced armor on the side, loading premium. T 57's in a really good position, not even gonna try it. Just waiting. So far, we're up to 899 spot assist. Trying to get a shot on the hatch, and just a little delayed. However, Putting around straight into the stone cold and setting them on fire was just a great trade off. So that's one tank down and left out of the four that we have seen. Motherland, it's another tier 8, but he's got a lot of mobility. I would like to get him out as quickly as I possibly can. Instead, we're going to put a 826 into the T57 Heavy, which has a four shot autoloader and can really screw up our day if he gets all four to land. So, the time it takes to get to this spot, they, they've been punished a lot. Already up to 2,564 damage. Our Ferdinand just got knocked out. And now we're going to try and angle and put our gun low. 
just to cover shots. Artillery, nope. Waffle Panzer IV helps us out. Get a shot on Andre. Put the barrel down low instead of that. We didn't get the barrel in the way, but we were at just the right angle that he's just going to shoot into the tracks and bounce off. Now, I know he's still on a reload compared to me, so I know I can pull out and take a shot straight into the lower plate. Now, here's where it's at. Put the gun in the way. Don't mind breaking the gun. He went through and did hit the tracks, but, you know... Right here, Andres, if you have over a 150mm weapon, you can go straight through the top armor right here. Putting the gun up to cover our hatch. And that entire engagement, we didn't lose a single hit point. And we had a tier 8, a tier 9, and a 10. We had two tank destroyers, a Ferdinand and a Waffle Panzer IV, a 60 TP, Versus a T-57, a Motherland, Andre the Giant, and a Stone Cold. Just, you know, cruising along, heading up the left side. The 60 TP, it, you know, if I, if I had to make a list, like 1 out of 10, for, you know, positions for tanks for me, my 277, it's really up there, I really like my 277, but ever since I got the 60 TP, I've just been enjoying every single match that I put inside this tank because the play style is a lot different compared to a lot of other heavies. So like the IS-7 you can be really aggressive, the 277 you can be passive aggressive, you can be full aggressive, you can be a spotter. It, it, it's an all-rounder along with the mobility that it has. It's got lightweight haul armor though, that's why I said there's medium class heavies and then lightweight class heavies. In my opinion, a lightweight class heavy would be the Chieftain. Super Conk, depending on where it's positioned, could be considered a Super Heavy. Or it can be considered more of a uh, medium class. But that just depends on where you're positioned. The OE5, I would say, kind of hits the boundaries between medium and Super Heavy. Except for that hatch, you know, everyone loves premium against the hatch. And right there, looking at the board, I realized I'm the only tier 10 left on the team. So I'm trying to let them know, the mediums on the right side, hey, I'm ready to fire. But don't expect me to uh, spot out targets. And oh, that sucks. All we did was track them. First AP round of the game, and it fails us. Now, I noticed a couple of shots coming from right, so I didn't want to pull out all the way. Because they could be behind the church, they could be hiding inside the tree line on the left side, and right here I'm, I'm pulling out and I'm looking for the, the 183, seeing if I can spot them. And then all of a sudden I decide to look over and I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I felt so dumb. Because I was just backing up to take a shot at him, he's already out of the game. And spotted by Artie, right here. I shot a little bit too early. If I would have waited maybe half a second longer, the shell would have hit. Now that I'm spotted, I've got tanks on the right that can see me. I've got tanks on the left that can see me. And I just realized that artillery hit me for a thousand damage. And goodbye. Now, all I want to do is try and get into a position that I'm a little bit more hauled down. Now that he's spotted, I know where I need the angle. Running with repairs, track mechanics, and brother in arms. All those perks just make your repair times extremely fast. And then along with that, we have camouflage, snapshot, recon, firefighting, six cents, and one perk I recognize but forgot the name to. Let me take a look real quick. This perk is called Deadeye. Deadeye on the 60 TP can be extremely dirty. Because you have a 152 millimeter weapon. You have a higher chance to hit an ammo rack a target. So running Deadeye with higher caliber weapons can increase your chances to break ammo racks and just detonate them immediately.
Well, know your heavies. Multiple classes. I, I do plan on getting out and showing off angles later in the future for some tanks, but primarily the 60 TP for me, that match I just had, and I, I just wanted to throw it out there and say, hey, you know, there's different play styles for every single tank. Learning your tank to play it to the best of your abilities is just key to increasing your W and 8, your win rate, or just to have fun overall. I pull out light tanks to have fun, but at the same time, light tanks can be extremely competitive. And, yeah. You guys have a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you. For me, it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> um, put down in the comments if you guys have a tank that you really like and you just want to mention it, and I can see what I can do in it. Well, see you guys Saturday on the live stream. Have a wonderful day.